Logs can be super helpful or they can be a huge pain. Hi, I'm Caleb from Semitex, and today let's talk about setting up logging for Docker containers. For the uninitiated, logs are essentially a constant stream of information that gives you insight into your application's performance. They make debugging possible and are very necessary. But where are Docker container logs stored? There's a short answer and a long answer. The short answer that will satisfy your needs for most of the use cases is var, lib, docker, containers, container ID, and container ID json.logs. Okay, done, right? Hold on, there are a few things that you should know. First, a Docker log is simply data captured from a standard output and standard error streams. These logs are essentially one long mishmash output of data, and they're not very pleasant to use for debugging. And second, Docker does not limit the logging file size. Over time, this file will get massive. I'm talking hundreds of gigabytes per container. Left unattended, this will eat up all of your resources. And now imagine having multiple containers. You can see how this becomes a huge problem really fast. So let's fix that. You're gonna to want to enable log rotation for your Docker containers. Essentially, you want Docker to limit the size and number of log files that are stored locally. Then you can decide what you wanna do with these excess log files. First, we don't want Docker to save every single file locally. So let's fix that. A crude solution is to simply delete the oldest log files once there are too many. To do this in the command line interface, type the following command, docker run log opt max size equals 20m. This limits the size of your Docker log file. Then log opt max file equals 10, my app latest. This limits the number of log files stored to 10 files. And the last bit tells Docker to delete the oldest files when the threshold is met, hence the name log rotation. But let's say you don't want to delete your logs, but keep them and use them later for debugging. So you're going to want to ship them out, preferably to a cloud-based centralized logging location. Cloud-based and centralized logging solutions make it easier to receive logs from multiple containers and cross-reference all of that data. So let's set up log shipping. Although Docker log drivers can ship logs to external log management tools, it doesn't allow you to parse container logs. For this reason, I highly recommend using a dedicated log shipper. A log shipper is a dedicated tool running inside of its own container to collect and ship logs. Dedicated log shippers make it easier to move containers between hosts and easily scale your infrastructure. They also let you collect logs from various streams, including log events, Docker API, data, stats, and lots of other things. Popular shippers like LogAgent, Logstash, or RSyslogs are used to restructure and enrich your logs before shipping them off. For this task, I highly recommend using Semitext because it comes with a great agent that automatically discovers most of your stuff and is great for most integrations. And there's also a freemium version, which is always great. Link for that in the description below if you wanna follow along. So let's set up log shipping to Semitext. Go to semitext.com and create a free account. Next, let's create an app for your logs inside the Semitex cloud. This app is where all of your relevant data and logs will be stored. Now, copy and paste only a few lines of code, and it's done. Semitex is now receiving your logs. All of your logs, pretty as can be, fully searchable, filterable, and forwardable. And you can even set up customized alerts for when something goes wrong. Great, now debugging will only suck out half of your soul. As always, questions and comments are welcome. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, check out our other videos if DevOps fascinates you. And if you're looking for a deep dive into things, check out our site for the full documentation. The link for that is in the description below. Enjoy your automated logging system. And until next time, keep monitoring, everybody.